In this first video, I'm going to show you how to get started by creating this store screen and writing the code necessary to navigate to and from that store screen. First, to get this project started, you have to go to View Code. When you go to View Code, um, assuming you're logged in the code.org and you have an account, you then can remix your code. And I'm going to turn it on so it's uh, you have access to the toolbox there. And I'm going to remix this code and give it a new name. I'm going to rename it, oops, uh, rename it my uh, not cookie clicker template. There we go. Now, this uh, app, as it works so far, it does, when you hit start, it does start adding cash. And when you hit the click me button, it adds five to the cash that the person has. They can click it multiple times and add up their cash even quicker. What I'm going to do first is add a store screen so that I can buy some power ups to make this game more interesting. Keep in mind, this game has nothing to do with cookie clicker. So I'm going to go to the click on design. And now that I'm in design mode, I am going to add a new screen. Right now I only have um, the start screen. I have the game, the main game screen, but I want to add a start screen, a store screen. A couple ways I can do it. I can click on new screen here, or I can click drag and drop a screen onto my phone like that. Now that screen um, now gives the generic name screen one, which does is just not good style. So I'm going to name that screen what it is. It is the screen store. It's the store that we're going to use in this game. And just to give it a little more functionality, I'm going to change the color of the screen to make it kind of this green here, just so it's kind of like a green, um, green uh, color here. I take that. Oops. I want a green. And there. I'll take that green right there. Oh, notice on the slider, you have to pick the slider and then pick which um, how much of that. So that was that little hiccup I was having there. And I am now going to add to this screen a button. And I'm going to give this button a really good name, a meaningful name. And a great meaningful name for this would be button from store to game or main game, I think I called it. So I'm just going to call it store to main game. I could also call it store to game. Um, screen, whichever. But what I'm doing is I'm giving it a really clear name so that I know what that um, does. I'm going to give it this kind of look with the little uh, less than less than sign to kind of make it look like it's pointing like the screens are in some kind of uh, magical mythical order. Now on the main game screen, I have the click me button. And what I need now is I need the um, button I'm going to use to go to the store. So I'm going to put this button here. And I'm going to use the little uh, the kind of the little lines that form a triangle on the bottom to resize it. I'm going to name this button store. So now I have a button to go to the store. I'm going to give it the text store. And when you click on this button, it will take you to the store. Now I have to write the code to make this work so that when I click on this, it takes me to the store. And then when I click on this button it takes me back from the store. So I'm going to write that code um, um, by, I'll start here by being on the main game screen. I'm going to click on store. I'm going to go to events and inside events I have the click insert and show code. I click on that and it throws down that event, but that event is placed way on the bottom. Now I don't want that event to be way on the bottom because I want to keep my code organized with variables at the top the events in the middle and the functions on the bottom. And this is an event. So I'm going to put this event with the other events. But what's really hard to do in block coding in this um, particular uh, uh, in, in, in app lab is to move it by grabbing it by the top. Sometimes it behaves unpredictably. Sometimes you only get part of it. So I got lucky here grabbing it by the top there. But something that I've noticed always works is grabbing it by the bottom semicolon at the very bottom of the code. That also works really slick and I can move my code. Make sure you grab all the code, not just the part of the code and you move it to the this 
this part right here where it's on event. So I'm going to leave the console.log in place. I'm going to go to my UI control, scroll all the way to the bottom, and use the set um, when button store is clicked. I want to set screen to go to buttons to screen store. So now let's just run it, make sure it works. I start game. I click on store. Boom, that's working. Now I'm going to go back to design mode. I'm going to um, now go to the store code and I want to program this next button. This next button takes me from the store back to the main game. So I'm going to insert and show code. And again, when I click on that, the event goes to the bottom of the code. I don't want it to be on the bottom because I want my functions to be at the bottom. So again, I'm going to grab by the semicolon um, at the bottom of the block and I'm going to click drag and drop it up to its proper location. This button is supposed to go from store to main game. So then I'm going to set screen and I'm going to set the screen to be screen back to main game. So that's going to take me back to the main game. Now I code a little, I test it, I code a little, I test it. So I coded a little, let's test it. When I start game that works, my click me still works. When I go to store, it takes me to the store. When I click on that, I go back. And what's kind of interesting is it does pause it. So I was at 39 when I left. Ooh, it, maybe it isn't pausing it. 60. Oh, I forgot a key piece of code. It's not pausing it. I wrote some co code that allows me to kind of pause the game when I'm not in screen main game. So if you want to pause it, which I do, I'm going to add the code that sets the name of the screen to be the current screen it's in so that the game um, pauses, which is kind of a nice feature. So when I go to the store, I want to set the sc current screen. So I'm going to set the current screen to be the screen store. And then um, because that's set to screen store, now the amount of money shouldn't add up. Um, it only adds up when it's in the main game, um, which is, is when I want it to add up. So then I also need to add when I go to main game, I have to add that. And so I'm going to say X equals and change that X to current screen equals. And I'm going to make sure that it says that it's the screen, oops, screen capitalization matters main game and when the screen is set to main game then it should uh, main game it should uh, count up and now it should pause so let's reset that and run it my start game okay my cache is at 15 16 17 18 19 when I go over here hopefully it's pausing right now when I go back it should be at about 18 20 23 24 let's go to the store it's at 26 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. What's it at? It did pause. Perfect. So um, that's the way you code those two buttons, button store and button um, store to main game.